Aditya L1 is the solar space based observatory which is going to study about the sun and uh, there are seven payloads in Aditya L1 so each payload will study the different layers of the sun and different phenomena which is uh, happening on the sun and uh, regarding the VLC that is visible emission line coronagraph which is the prime payload of Aditya L1 is going to observe study about the solar corona. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here in CNN News 18. So uh, it feels very proud to stand right here because we understand that this is the miniature version of what Aditya L1 is going. All of you have done such hard work on it. But we'd like to understand what it is, even for the common man, because it's so much of curiosity that we know that satellites go to various parts in the moon and now the sun. But what is this all about? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for uh, this uh, uh, coming here to IAA. And, uh, to the common man, this is just a lens where it is held at L1 uh, or some, some space at some space. And in this box, eclipse is happening. And eclipse is directly transmitted to the ground station. And eclipse, uh, what is happening at that time, some moon or uh, moon blocks here, some disk light, uh, one lens blocks. Correct. So uh, the coronal light uh, comes here. So it is not a, for the common man. We are creating an eclipse all the time in this box. Right. That's the thing. Okay. Uh, why? The question arises. Because Eclipse is a uh, cosmic event that happens only at fraction of time. So at somewhere, at some place, then all the solar physicists, they have to run with their baggages and camp there for hours together, days together, and then after set up their instrument, everything, and they have to watch. And by uh, unfortunate uh, thing, if weather uh, is upset, then they can't observe the sun. No, you can so camp down okay. and watch, but when you have a permanent camp up yeah, there to yeah, even see and a whatever. permanent camp there. <laughs> and this is only for the solar physicist here who wants to observe the corona and coronal dynamics here. This has been designed so in IAA and this, what yeah. is very specific. This is this designed design. in IAA and the very specific thing here is, see, on the uh, bench, we can, uh, on the work uh, bench of optics in the lab, we can array anything in the lens and other things and that will function but whatever we have put here so this each and every component this has to survive the launch load and also function at the orbiting while it is orbiting while it is uh, in the orbit it is uh, it experiences thermal escalations at that time also the inter separation of the optical lens uh, elements everything it should be intact, it should not change. Correct. Otherwise, it will be defocused Correct. and we will not get the data. Correct. That is one thing. Second thing, in, in the launch load, if it gets uh, loosened, then what happens is, uh, again, it is getting permanently defocused. Hmm. So that is the problem. Hmm. Third thing is, whatever the elements here in this thing, they are all, each and every uh, lens elements and uh, things are not, uh, uh, readily available off the shelf. It has to be characterized, it has to be done and it has to be uh, component level tested and also in the integrated level it is tested and for all harsh atmospheres, uh, whatever so, the vibration and thermovac, acoustics, EMI, EMC, for everything it has to be tested. And uh, with all these things, it has to retain its uh, uh, dimension, stability, and in its integrity. So, so simply put, simply put, hmm. you're sending a space uh, a satellite to the sun, but you're creating a sun kind of atmosphere on Earth yeah. to ensure that what you're doing experimentation yeah, is yeah, perfect, yeah, we right? Have a, we, Literally yeah. bringing the sun onto yeah, Earth yeah. for that. We have uh, brought sun inside the lab through a lens, uh, uh, through the series of lens and other things. Correct. And we have whatever you are seeing in this uh, uh, entrance aperture, we have fed the sunlight and we have observed everything. And uh, the same thing, whatever we have observed, that uh, calibration, that uh, data that is valid even after this harsh tests after, with the ISRO centers. Sure. Uh, after that uh, harsh tests, uh, it has given the same result. That means its integrity is intact and whatever it is uh, designed that will work there also. That is the difference between the space experiments and earth experiment, uh, experiments on uh, uh, earth in the lab. So that is the main difference.
thank you so much for this and congratulations and best of luck on yeah. your mission thank sir. you thank, thank you, you very, very much, much. so i mean the uh, people who are in science communication love events like this right uh, any event to do with space attracts everybody especially students and if you combine a a a, a project to go to space with a project uh, to with the telescope to observe the universe then it's a double bonanza for all of us and uh, we would we we've been trying to make use of the opportunity to promote astronomy uh, both as something which is a fascinating uh, field of inquiry which affects our daily life as well as as a science and and a branch of physics uh, and i think we've been reasonably uh, successful at that chandrayaan 3 of course uh, energized the nation and i think i know how many 100 million people watched that actual launch of chandrayaan and i think that that will shape our our, our people of our country the way they see uh they see the the, the world of outside the earth or universe for for years to come and aditya l1 will do the same thing as well uh the sun is something which is ever present in our lives we we take it for granted uh we we uh, except during solar eclipses where we suddenly realize there's a sun out there or when it's very very gloomy because of clouds for months on end they were like oh which sun comes out but the sun is also the closest star and what sustains life on earth but it's not it's more than that it's a star like every other star and and only if you understand the sun will we understand other stars right and because it is so close we can we can look at very minor phenomenon on the sun and 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 understand it much more deeply than we understand other stars and and though people's fascination is there with big big bang and black holes and so on uh, the sun is also fascinating in terms of just just popular interest right uh, the fact that it has nuclear fusion happening in the surface the fact that photons emitted in the core of the sun because of nuclear fusion take thousands of years to reach the surface and then takes just 8 minutes to reach the earth right the fact that the atmosphere of the sun is much much hotter than the surface of the sun all of these are facts which are not very well known but i think would would interest uh, younger students a lot right and i think it's important uh, that we use the sun in our education activities much more there have been activities by many astronomy communicators over the years Uh, to introduce the study of the sun in a very practical way uh, more all our schools function only in the daytime and getting students to come at night to look to telescopes is very difficult and therefore there's a whole series of activities devised by many many people around the country in fact i think india is a lead in this one called daytime astronomy where there are a lot of experiments students can do with almost no cost like you know within 100 rupees using just the sun uh, and the shadow it casts right measure the shadow of the sun of any object and you can calculate a lot of things about the universe itself and i think that's something which, which many schools have been doing with us and that's in some sense you no know, brings the sun close to us in fact you know, the, the series that series is called tare zameen par or suraj zameen par right and we hope to use this occasion uh, of our tail one launch and its operation to to bring home the sun into the classrooms into the schools in some sense uh, to make people to make students understand that uh, the sun is a laboratory out there and it's not astronomy is not as esoteric and 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 uh, difficult to to do experiments on or understand you don't need gigantic telescopes all you need is maybe a small telescope which you can make yourself a uh, stick and a scale and the sun without any clouds in our cloudless day and you can do all astronomy yourself in your own school and that's something we really hope our tail one will promote